Hello, trading is closed on May 26, 2021. Our disclaimer always comes first. It's my trading plan for tomorrow, May 27th. Remember, I can be completely wrong, so all trades should be at your own risk. Please follow the rules of my channel. Tell your friends and click like if you think it's worth it. Look for the pattern with the early high. This is it. Tomorrow also has the early high. Tends to be a rally day with a high in the final hour. Well, here's a high in the final hour, but it's certainly, I wouldn't call this a rally day. We gapped up, hit some higher highs, closed under all the highs. If it's going to be a rally day, the day doesn't really end at today's close, ends near tomorrow's open. If it really is going to be a rally day, we should gap up and take this high up. But, if it fails, it should be a straight line drop. And we do have a lower MJT target, 4187.96. And if we don't gap up smartly, that's my call for tomorrow. And as we'll see, it could be even steeper than that if we don't gap up. Just a review of what we said yesterday. Here are the BJT patterns from today. Here there was a buy signal in the morning that worked. This rally came too soon, too far too soon. It says it'll retrace. 4187.96 is the call. We should see this price by early Friday. This rally was called false. This drop is called false. That's all played out. This is the count that won't go away. We stopped right at this trend line. And so far, nothing's invalidated the count. I'm going to cross my fingers, admit it's not the only count, but stay with it until it's invalidated. Close enough to a stop to make it worth it. Well, here's the count that won't die. This is hardly a strong day. We did almost nothing. This hasn't been invalidated. And when these days with this pattern are not strong, it tends to be a sharp down move. Let's come back and look at the day of the all-time high. I mentioned a pattern in one of my chat rooms when this was happening. And since it's still held so far, I'm going to mention it again as long as you promise not to hold me to it if it doesn't work. This is the day we hit the all-time high. This was a pattern I used to see many times 10, 15 years ago, but I don't think I've seen it since. You're in a strong rally leg. It's lasted some time. Minimal, if any, opening gap. You go straight up, a sharp advance, very sharp. Consolidations are okay, but no pullbacks. Second hour of trading gets a slightly higher high. There's a long, narrow range. And on a percentage basis, that's pretty narrow. The narrower it is and the longer it is, the better it is. 2.30 Eastern time, the pattern's set. There's often, but not always, a slightly higher high at 3 o'clock Eastern. The one thing missing was there's no higher high near the close, but there was a higher high in futures. And whether that invalidates the pattern, I don't know, because it hasn't happened before. I used to see this a lot. I don't recall seeing it since. I called it the coup de grace, because very reliably, it killed the rally. It was called to the high of the rally leg to within just a few points. I can't say it'll still work, but 10 to 15, maybe 15 to 20 years ago it worked like a charm over and over again. And the reason I think it works is here you, this is the equivalent of a wall into the close. It's the first hour of trading 
retail customers all act in unison. They don't allow any pullbacks. They just buy, buy, buy. And when they're done, everyone's done. This is, a, to me, a sign of capitulation on the upside. Everyone thinks the market's going up forever. They say, buy at any price. Once they're done, there's no place to go because no one's willing to sell yet. But um, there's no one else willing to buy. And you get this little blip up at the end, which should keep Elliot happy because usually this is a fourth wave. And the little blip up is the fifth. And that finishes it. Now, I can't swear it'll still work. It certainly doesn't have the track record as some of my other stuff. But I will tell you, it was very reliable years ago. And if it fails, it fails. But it's worked for over two weeks, and that's why I'm mentioning it. Tomorrow's pattern has the early high. We could get down. There's a lower MJT target. If we don't gap up smartly, it should print. We gapped up at a higher high, closed under the midday highs. Unless we gap and promptly overtake today's high, we should see lower prices. That alone doesn't mean we'll close lower, but today's rally tends to be a rally day with a final hour high. Didn't happen. The alternative is a straight line drop. That didn't happen either. And that omission should be resolved at tomorrow's open by gapping sharply. And I think because of the lower MJT target, the odds favor a steep drop. But as always, if we gap up smartly, the call's killed before the open. So we look for a sharp move tomorrow, a gap outside of the range. If the gap isn't up, we have a lower target. 41.87.96, but this could be a very steep drop if the interpretation's right. Because if the interpretation's right, we are going to start an impulse down. And that's today's call.